Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. Before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful to you. Now you might be wondering, why am I holding a uh, album of Ariana Grande? No specific reason, I just wanted to let you know that I got my first ever vinyl player, which is in the room with me, and uh, I'm loving it, okay? If you think vinyls are outdated, then you are wrong, and that's what I learned recently. It makes YouTube and like TV sound quality go to complete garbage. I can't go back to listening on TV ever again. Please, uh, yeah, basically, I suggest getting a vinyl uh, if you are into music. So, that's irrelevant though. We're here to talk about Old School RuneScape, which in my opinion is the number one best uh, MMORPG on the market right now. Uh, it's, which is funny because I won't be giving it a perfect score, but in my opinion, it is the best. Uh, when you compare it to other games, like World of Warcraft, it's just so much better. Like, it's night and day, so. Yeah, uh, in OSRS, which is what I'm going to call it. Well, actually, no, that's, that's a bit weird to say out loud, but that's, that's how you say it in text form. Uh, you basically, you are a level 3 noob on Tutorial Island, and you are about to venture to the world of, the fictional fantasy world of Gilinor, which is one, honestly one of the most pure fantasy worlds there are, except for the fact that uh, there's constant fourth wall breaking and, you know, it's just, th this was almost the most purest form of fantasy is what I was going to say. But I would argue, yeah, okay, World of Warcraft, World WoW Vanilla is a more pure form of fantasy, but still, it's a fantasy world just with a lot of real world references and jokes and fourth wall breaking, um, but uh, the objective of the game is kind of whatever you want it to be, but the, 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 what, the, the moral of the story is that it's a giant vast fantasy world, uh, it is very social, uh, it's way more social than other games, people are much more friendly and inviting than other games as well, unless you go to Winter Tot, don't, well, yeah, you will go to Winter Tot at some point, but don't, disable chat when you go to Winter Tot. Um, but yeah, basically the objective of the game is whatever you want it to be, but for most people it is to complete every quest in the game, uh, try to get as many combat achievements as possible, try to get your, all of your skills as close to 99 as possible, which is going to take several hundreds of hours to do, and uh, you also ideally would um, try to complete your com collection log, which is basically just a loot tracker of all the unique drops you've got. There's a ton of end game content to this game as well. And uh, it's, can, it's still being updated to this day as well. Uh, so that's, that's why I think this game is the best um, on the market today. Because not only was it by far the best when it came out, I actually did play this game in 2007 when it came out. I remember I, I bought a Scholastic Guide. It is so outdated. I sometimes read it now. I still have it. Um, it is so outdated though, this, the information in that like physical book is really funny. But I played this game for a very long time. But I only started taking it very seriously in like my adult years. If you're wondering, I'd say as a kid I never got past the granite mall phase. I remember I got my first granite mall and I was just thought I was the coolest kid on the block. That was when I was like seven years old. But uh, now I, I've got it all basically. got the bandos gear and the, the abyssal tentacle and everything. So. I'm, I'm a tryhard now, but uh, I think this game is best played and best enjoyed if you're not trying to try hard. But unfortunately, this game is very tryhard. So the objective of this game is to devote your life to uh, trying to get 99 in all of the skills, complete all the quests, do all of the PBM bosses and raids, and just have a good time and meet a lot of good friends along the way. So yeah, uh, we basically just, just did talk about why it's a great game, but other than what I just talked about, I think the economy for this game is very strong. I know there's some people that bitch about it, but I mean, that's every game, right? Every MMO, people complain about the economy. But in general, this game has a very solid economy uh, because it has a very well-functioning grand exchange that is server-wide. Um, so it, it works way better than something like World of Warcraft's Auction House and Path of Exile's non-existent Auction House. So this is definitely the best economy in a game I've seen personally. Um, so yeah, it's also way more social than your average game. A lot of MMOs nowadays are becoming kind of single player, you know, single player simulators and you just happen to be in a world with other people, you're not really, you know, interacting with them or doing anything with them. 
Um, like World of Warcraft, the leveling experience, for example, nobody talks to each other. You're just antisocial the entire time. But in this game, it's a lot more social than other games. People will randomly come up to you and, you know, strike conversations and stuff. So that is very good. Uh, the game also features a huge amount of content. So obviously the fact that it requires a membership to play is a negative, but it, it's, it's worth it. There's so much to do. And uh, this is like a bank scape is another word, right? So if you're trying to increase your bank value, which is kind of another objective of the game, um, it's, uh, it's fun because there's so many different ways to do that. I think Slayer is particularly fun. I really like the, I like the fact that the game is both AFK and active. So if you don't know what that means, AFK, like there's two ways of skilling. There's active and AFK. And I like that the game features both. So AFK, you could bring your phone to your workplace and you tap a single thing on your screen every 60 seconds or so. That it, it allows you to train your account by doing something like that. Or you can take an active approach where you're clicking like way more often and actually paying attention. So there's so many different ways to play the game and enjoy it. So yeah, uh, as for negative, so I am going to give Old School RuneScape a 9 out of 10. The reason I don't give it a 10 is because it is swarmed with bots. Um, and it is being an everlasting ongoing problem that apparently is never going to be solved. And the reason why bots are bad is because if you go to any popular area at any time, which is the Grand Exchange, that's the main area obviously, uh, you're going to be spammed with bots who are trying to get you to gamble with them and go to RWT sites. And if you ignore them, guess what? There's a ignore limit. I don't know why. <laughs> I, how has this not been fixed already? How has people not complained about this? As someone who ignores every single bot I come across, you are going to fill up your ignore list very fast. Um, so yeah, just the fact that uh, just the fact that bots are so prevalent and kind of ruining the game. Like it, it also, I think the economy is good, but it does devalue the common resources. For example, like a noob going to mine iron ore is not going to be very profitable for that noob because there's a million bots that are mining iron ore 24 seven at all times of the day. So the the experience does get affected by these annoying bots. Um, so that is the main reason why I'm not going to give it a perfect score. If this game did not have bots and it had natural players going, doing all the forms of content, then it would be a dream come true, but that's just not a reality we live in and that probably will never happen. So for that reason, it's going to get a nine. Uh, there are some other small issues though, uh, like the Jagex support is particularly bad compared to other, uh, co company supports. Uh, there's lots of false bans and a bunch of just weird behavior from them. I also think the game can get a little bit politically charged at times. I mean, one of, the most, one of my most popular videos on this channel is uh, talking about the pride, you know, the, the, the gay pride month thing. It just doesn't feel like it belongs in a fantasy video game from 2007, but uh, yeah, it, the game is kind of has some negative changes with the modern times like the bots and uh, in my opinion the, the pride stuff so I'm gonna give OSRS a 9 out of 10 I I do I do recommend it but just be warned it will steal your life away from you you will sink several thousands of hours and you will have nothing in real life to show for it because it is just a digital game that can shut down at any moment so that's kind of the reason why you want to stay away from MMOs but it's just too damn good. It's too damn addicting to not play it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this review, and I will see you next time.